So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the text feature in MIT App Inventor. So what you're going to see is I have a block laid out for the phone number, a block made out for a message, and a message received, a button for a send, and a clear. The big thing that you're going to look here <clears throat> is I brought in my texting uh, aspect here. So if you come over to connectivity, nope, under social, I believe. Yep, we have the texting option here. You also, uh, for future reference, you have a phone or a phone number uh, phone here as well. Um, so we're going to come to blocks, and this is actually a pretty simple setup. So we're going to say when we click our send message, we're going to go to our texting, and we're going to set our message on this to whatever's in your text box message. So message box, whatever in that. Uh, message uh, and what the text reads. Now, again, just to make clear, this is not uh, what is the, you, this program is using your existing phone's test, text messaging. So we're going to come back to our uh, our number on this, and we're going to grab in our phone number text. And where are we going to send this? Well, we're going to send our text messaging. Just going to duplicate this down. And we're going to say our text messaging uh, phone number. So we're going to use that here and attach here. And then I'm going to call this procedure by coming to my texting to send a message. So I'm going to take what's in the message and the phone number and what's in the number box and send that via text message. Now, believe it or not, that is it. So when I click on this then, uh, I want to be able to, my clear button, all I'm going to do is take my text box. So I'm going to take these uh, text box, text, and I'm going to duplicate this, and I want to do my uh, uh, message box. And I want to come and clear them both out to blank. So that's just a nice little user attribute. You could also choose the user menus itself. Now, when uh, I receive a message, I want to set my message for that message received. That text that I want there, well, what do I want to get? Well, I want to get and add two things together. I want to take my math blocks of addition and I want to get the number. So I want to get the number coming in from that uh, text message feature and I want to get the message being sent from those and I want to take those variables and add them. Now, my suggestion on this is to enable a Google Voice account and uh, your Google Voice uh, phone number and receiving to use as your uh, messaging service for your app. So this could be put into an existing app with your Google Voice. And what would happen is as your Google Voice is activated in the background, this app would send and receive messages and display them within this app rather than just in your Google Voice. So this could be a feature as you're designing apps uh, to uh, communicate different information within your app. Um, and you can also see, you could do the same thing with the uh, phone call uh, that you would do with the text messaging and it would work uh, very similar.